it's week 10 of the NFL. And up next, we'll see the dual threat, Christian McCaffrey. He was unstoppable a week ago. A mountain of yards and a pair of touchdowns. It's the 49ers and the Panthers on Monday night. EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. Tonight, we polish off Week 10 with a good Monday night matchup as it'll be the San Francisco 49ers taking on the Carolina Panthers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Panther ball club as they interplay here. They come in losers of two straight, so they're trying to right the ship here a little bit. They're teetering a little bit, aren't they? And now things could really go south if they lose this game, so they understand the importance of playing well and stopping this streak. On the other side of the field for the visiting 49ers, they come in riding high, just one loss in their last seven games. It's a very focused team, very disciplined. They've kept the penalties to a minimum, and they're winning football games. The shadow's starting to get a bit longer. Week 10 of the NFL season is here and we're underway on EA Sports. And no run back here so they'll bring it out to the 25. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. And they'll be led out by their quarterback now in his third season in the league. And you've got to think that they've got to be feeling pretty fresh. You know, coming off of the open week, didn't have to play, right? Gives them a chance to rest up a little bit, heal some of those aches and pains, and excited about playing again. That really rekindles things a little bit. I want to see how they come out and establish themselves here early. And that bye week coming right where they want it in the middle of the schedule. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. It's Young off play action. Got his man. It's Jonathan Mingo. And he'll be taken down the line before he works it past the 50. 19 yards the pick up there. Move the chains. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 47. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right of the yard. They will run for the first time with Miles Sanders. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. On third down, they'll run it with Sanders. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. It's a Panthers first down, 17 yards on the play. They'll go again with Sanders. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Throw left side, pulled in by Mingo. And the Panthers are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. They'll run with Sanders. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Leads to second and goal at the eight-yard line. Yellow line. Now Young. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Bryce Young with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And the Panthers put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. That's a really good decision right there outside of the pocket. You've got to know the right time to shift from passer to runner. He was looking and looking. Nothing there. You can almost feel the brainwaves firing as he calculates. I think I can win a race to the pylon. And he turns out to be right. Touchdown. Extra point by Marr. Up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Oh, 
And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. And leading them out, their signal caller. Now it is fourth season in the NFL. If you ask coaches at any level to design their ideal leader of a team, I think they're going to check every box with this guy. He's got the poise to handle responsibility. He stays calm under any kind of pressure. And he brings out the best of his teammates each and every week. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. You look at this Carolina defense. And this unit, very tough to throw against. Currently second best in the NFL. And this is what we talk game inside the game. Top five passing offense versus top five passing defense. I wouldn't be surprised defensively if they change up coverages a bit more than usual to try and combat what they expect to see. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. The Niners at 6-2 and two to start play. And they come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victory, CD. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience all on display in that victory. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Two yards still to go. Third down now. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. They're able to convert with a gain of four. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. Jeremy Chin there defensively. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play in the drive. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. And he's going to have a Niners first down. He needed five. He got it barely as it will officially go down as a gain of five yards. Back to the ground attack here. It's McCaffrey. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. When the 4-3 defense is functioning really well, you know he stays what we call clean and no one gets to him. The guy playing the middle linebacker position, the guy we call Mike, that means the defensive front is eating up all the blocks and just letting him go to the football and make the play. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter. Already a pair of third down conversions for them on this drive, but right now they need five yards on this third down try. He's going to drop this down to McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Tyron Matthew there to make the tackle. Now a second and ten. McCaffrey running up the middle. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. It's interesting going into this game, there was so much talk from both sides about who would control the line of scrimmage. And we've seen who has it in this one so far. Well, they bottled him up. He's barely averaging over three yards of carry right now. And oh, he's just going to be short here. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. Here we go with McCaffrey. And this is going to be nowhere close. Needed some inches and ended up losing yardage. Christian McCaffrey unable to get to the marker. And this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. So their first drive of the game already trailing, having given up points. But a little surprised that they went for it, right? Maybe the big guy, the head coach, senses this is going to be a shootout type of a game. That they've got to match them point for point, as opposed to, hey, we'll, we'll get them later. Maybe he just has that sense, and that's why he decided to go for it there. Ready? Young on first down. 
Dancing to his left. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. I do think it's fair to say they were caught off guard a little bit. We decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. He lost two there. And it's third down. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Jones now in motion left. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. Oh, he sheds himself free. And now look at this. Big game with a fumble. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. He was trying to do anything he could to get that final little bit for the first down. Instead, he lost the ball. Yeah, and he was short of the first down, but not by much. Trying his best, as you noted, to get there. Sometimes that extra effort can cost you. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. And Charles, you look at these two teams, and these are those kind of litmus test games in the second half of the season. That if you're a coach or a player, you can either really look forward to them or really dread them, depending on your point of view. And if you're dreading them, you're not going to go very far in the playoffs. You need to look forward to these kind of games because here we've got two division leaders, both real contenders for the NFC title. And you're right, you love to have easy games on your schedule, but you need some games like this to toughen you up a bit and ensure that you're ready for the shot of playoff football. Well, they use him a lot out of the backfield. He had five catches a week ago, and he makes another catch here for good yardage. Throwing here, Purdy. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey, and he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Four yards on the pickup, good enough to extend the drive. On first down, Purdy. And off balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. So roughing the passer penalty and an automatic first down. And that's the mark of a bad team, partner, because that's an easily preventable penalty, but they just didn't take the proper steps to make it so. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. How about his performance last week? Over 200 yards. I think his decisiveness. One cut, and he goes. That's what's really made pile up the yardage. And the yardage he piled up last week easily with NFC Offensive Player of the Week. I would have voted for him. And he's going to have a gain of 11 to the 11 before he's brought down. First and 10. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down after a short gain as that takes us to the two-minute warning. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Give him two yards on that play, and that'll make it a second down. Now a draw play to McCaffrey. Down at the two. Broke through first contact, but ultimately stopped shy of the goal line. 55 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. Up the gut, McCaffrey. Now he's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. Now the Panthers are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On fourth down, here's Purdy. And he hauls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Charlie Warner, his first touchdown on the year. And the 49ers' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. 
How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down and, oh, okay, forget the field goal because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. And he'll get in, and they take an 8-7 lead. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. The Panthers offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good and looking to be a threat come January. And are you one of those early holiday shoppers, partner? Are you one of those guys get your list done? Because I think about what every team has on their holiday shopping list right now. What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two, win your division. Number three, and I think the biggest goal of all, try to get the number one seed so you get that first round bye and ensure you don't have to go anywhere in January and hopefully get to the Super Bowl that way. Young on third and two. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Panthers first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain there on third and two. That one tipped, and it's incomplete. A good hands there defensively. And second down. Come on, second down. Ready? To the air once more, Young. Finding room at midfield. And all the way down to the 33 yard line. Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. And Young's throw there incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. And now they'll take a timeout defensively. After the second down play, they burn the timeout, making him sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter. The kick by Marr is good. And it's still claim to the lead here. It's 10 to 8. So a little late drama in the first half as that kick will give them the lead into intermission. Isn't this fun the way that this is unfolding? You're exactly right. The late drama, three points go up on the board, and we go into the half with a new leader. Final play of the half. Birdie gets this to his running back. It's Christian McCaffrey. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. So we are at halftime here on a Monday night. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports halftime report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. We'll begin up north at MetLife Stadium over in New Jersey, where it was the Giants who pick up the victory at home. Saquon Barkley, a touchdown run in the victory. Next, we head off to check out another game, and it was the visiting Atlanta Falcons who come in and get the victory. Kyler Murray leading the way in the victory with three touchdown passes. Finally, let's get down to Houston, check on the Texans at home at NRG Stadium. And they were victorious in that one over the visiting Jacksonville Jaguars. C.J. Straff leading the way there as the win gets his guys back to 500 on the year. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. Each team making their final preparations for this second half. We're about ready, too, as we'll send you back up to Charlotte and rejoin Brandon and Charles at Bank of America Stadium. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Here's Oliver. Here's Oliver. 
And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Christian McCaffrey and his 49er teammates back onto the field. And he's sure looking like a lock for a 1,000-yard season. Don't know if he's going to get it in this game, but he'd probably like to just to get past that point. Yeah, and if he doesn't, as you noted, just nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble and kind of in trouble. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. But that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. Another big play and another 49er first down. Well, we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Show some confidence, supreme confidence. Big time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. Oh, what a juke into space. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. I think the best offenses love to give the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss. And they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. Now they need two. Here's third down. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. 80 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. Well, I'd have to say in that situation, they're lined up for a running play. It's only third and two. Some element of the pass, but that was really well blocked. Probably call those gravy plays, right, if you're the offensive coordinator? No doubt about it. All you're trying to do is get the two yards necessary for a first down. Then you look up, you got a whole lot more than that. Yeah, they did. They got a lot more than that, indeed. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Christian McCaffrey with his ninth rushing touchdown on the year. And the 49ers have taken the lead here in this third quarter. And that's CD, one heck of a run. He just refused to go down. And that's where determination comes in because he had at least a couple of guys had really good shots at him, but he just said, I don't think so. Speed, power, elusiveness. All on display right there. Look like you, partner, back in your salad days in Evansville. Moody good with the extra point. And the lead is up to five. So that drives seven plays in length. And the last play on the drive, the touchdown run from Christian McCaffrey. So after the made field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. And he'll very wisely take a knee here as they'll bring this one out to the 25 on the touchback. The Panthers offense now, they head go. back on the field for their first possession of the second half. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each. Oh, well, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jamal Adams. A great pick, nice return, but you know he's just beating himself up inside for not getting all the way in. No doubt about it, because he had visions of end zone in his mind. Going to be the total hero. But we did see there the emphasis on it's not just good enough to pick it off anymore. Bring it back, get the yardage, and really help out your offense. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And really, you can't have a better situation than this. First and goal at the one. Touchdown, 49ers! George Kittle 
He has career touchdown number 78, tying in with both Eddie George and Frank Gifford on the all-time list. And the Niners are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us, because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. When it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. Looking for Thielen, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Talanoa Hufanga. And he returns it into enemy territory down to the 45-yard line. So rare to see any quarterback toss back-to-back -back interceptions in the NFL, regardless of status or experience. Whether it's him personally or just the offensive game plan, I think this defense is reading something out there, and they're holding the upper hand. Out comes Christian McCaffrey with the rest of the offense. He's had a good third quarter. He likes whatever adjustments were made at halftime, whether those were team adjustments or just him talking to himself. And whatever that conversation was, it was pretty good because he is running really well here in the third quarter. But I like to think it is a team adjustment. Offensive line, those big escorts of his, they figured out how to block a little bit better. And he's found those holes to run through. He has indeed. So from the 37, here's second and a couple. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. Well, we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. A lot of times, the play caller just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yards runs, and goes to one of those. 13 yards there and a Niner first. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. Now Purdy. They'll get this into the hands of Ayu. And the Niners are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Purdy now to throw. Over the middle, that's complete to McCaffrey. Down at the two. Broke through first contact, but ultimately stopped shy of the goal line. A gain of seven that time. Second goal. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the foot. Touchdown! George Kittle. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the 49ers get another third-quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, as one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Moody good with the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. And he'll very wisely take a knee here as they'll bring this one out to the 25 on the touchback. Now the Panthers offense, they get set to come back onto the field. 
I kind of feel like they've reached a do or die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Ready? On first and 10, Young. This ball complete to Thielen going across the middle. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. It's a seven yard carry to set them up with a second and three. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to it. And we're back now in Charlotte. Here we go, From the 44-yard line, here's second and three. Hut, hut. Young now. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 25-yard line. 19 yards there on the catch and run. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Broken tackle. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Holding offense. That time the right guard sending him backwards. And so many different types of guys rotate in on the defensive line now, depending on situations. You can get the bulky guy, the fast guy. No matter what, though, he can't hold them. Young, he's got his tight end. It's Tommy Tremble. And down to the 20, he'll go before heading out of bounds. That's a gain of 11. Would have been a first down if not for that penalty moments ago. Second down, Young. And that'll be incomplete. Ready, the Panthers on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and four. They go play action. Young. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Diamador Lenore. And the Niners are going to have it here as they'll start at their own seven. Well, the field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here, maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. Christian McCaffrey and his 49er teammates back onto the field. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back, because that means everything's coming together for you. The big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. Here's Purdy. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he gets it up to the 10-yard line here. So the screen good for only two. Now it's third down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Here's Purdy now on third and goal. This one caught by Kittle. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Here's Purdy on first and ten. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Purdy to throw it on first down. Again, he'll find Samuel for the completion. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. This is McCaffrey on the give. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. 137 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's going on. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. 
Now a run with McCaffrey. And maybe a little over pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25 yard line. First down, San Francisco, the pickup 14 yards. They'll run with McCaffrey, able to power through. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. Here's McCaffrey. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Starting to look like this drive may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations, these scenarios, to run someone into the ground and secure a victory. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's 49er football here as we get your reset. From the third team now, they work on first and 10. This is McCaffrey. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. Christian McCaffrey. His second touchdown of the night. And the 49ers go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. So it's a pretty good season he's putting together running the football. That now 10 rushing touchdowns on the year. And we know this is a passing league and those numbers throwing the football, they seem to go up and up every year. But there's still something to have a reliable back you can count on in the red zone to bring things home for you. And that's what he's been doing all season long. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight defeat. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. You got the big lead defensively. You're willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackle. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Looks like they're going to keep throwing till the bitter end. This one's long since over, but give them credit. They're going to go down fighting. That one, incomplete. Young to throw it. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Ready, ready, switch, yellow, check white. It's desperation time. Young on fourth down. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Niners take over in terrific field position. The Niners set to take over on offense. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate. But we'll see what they decide to do as they come out for this one. But the way that this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. Well, it's a shuffle pass, and it's complete. And the 49ers are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the 9. Now it looks like he'll throw here. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey, and he's able to get it down to the 2-yard line. A gain of 7 that time, second goal. And they've used him in the passing game to great effect so far, and here they get it to him again on the screen, and it turns into a nice positive play. Purdy sets up to throw again. 
And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Now Moody for the PAT. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Just a four-play drive that time. And it all ends with a George Kittle touchdown. So after the made field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. And they're going to have really good starting field position here as that's taken up close to the 40. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. They were coming off the extra week of rest, but this team started sluggish, and it really didn't get any better from there. And trailing big here in this fourth quarter. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Well, this game, it was well in hand early, never really in doubt. Charles, you and I do so many games together. There's so much parity in the NFL, a lot of close battles. This was not one. Tip your cap to them for a really impressive effort. Yeah, and you know, as the game went on, I think the defense kind of got together and said, you see our guys up 